Local 4 News begins right now with a breaking news alert. That breaking news on Detroit's east side. Two people killed, one other rushed to the hospital after a small plane crashes near Coleman A. Young Airport. This new video shows the moment the lone survivor is able to escape from the wreckage. The pilot had detected air traffic control to report a landing gear malfunction and low fuel. He apparently circled Coleman A. Young Airport, which you may know as City Airport. He was looking for a grassy area on which to attempt a landing and possibly ran out of fuel. And we know three people were on board the single engine Cessna that flew out of Arkansas before heading to Detroit. That plane apparently hit some trees near the airport and crashed near the intersection of Milton and Eldon Avenues west of Van Dyke Avenue. Priya Mann is there now live and Priya, what can you tell us? Well, Sandra, the one person who was able to get out of that plane is a 17 year old male. He is in critical condition right now at Detroit receiving hospital with severe burns. Now, this is as close to the scene as we can get right now. Detroit police and Detroit fire are containing the area where that plane crashed. Now, a number of families witnessed the aftermath, including young children. Their parents did give us permission to speak to them. Again, this plane crashing in a vacant lot, killing two, critically injuring a third. As the flames engulf the cockpit, frantic pleas for the passengers to get out. He said, please get me out. I'm burning it up. Get me out of here. I'm burning it up. The small Cessna style plane crashed upside down. It was terrible. It was all burning fire and everything. Wonton could be seen through a window struggling inside. Eventually, he rolls out the side door. There you go, there you go. Detroit police say the man was injured but coherent. He was rushed to Detroit receiving hospital. Two others were trapped in the plane and died. Neighbors described the impact. I had seen an airplane swerving, and then that's when I had seen it come down there, and it hit like it was like boom, and then it hit the tree, and then it was like boom, and then that's when I was like, Nana, Nana, it's the plane that just crashed. When I got down there, I saw the plane in flames and smoking everywhere. Three people were on board the plane, which left Arkansas at 3.43 p.m. It was expected to land at City Airport in Detroit at 7.57 p.m. The first 911 call came in just after 8 Sunday evening. The single propeller plane crashed in a vacant lot near Van Dyke and Milton, just blocks from City Airport. Neighbors tried to help. They used baseball bats to break the glass to try to extract them. I look like I should have did more. I tried. I tried. Police say conditions were clear at the time. Two people died in the plane crash. A third remains in the hospital. It's a tragic accident. That's the first thing, and I don't know if I can even justify what's what's actually transpiring. And that video is just terrifying to watch. Again, a 17 year old remains in critical condition in the hospital with severe burns. Two others have died in this small plane crash. Now to recap, according to City Tower, that plane was looking for a place to land. The gear indication light was out. Possibly they were out of fuel and the plane circled the runway several times attempting to land in the grass. At some point, the tower lost contact with the plane and that plane did crash in a vacant lot here uh, on Van Dyke. I would avoid this area for quite some time. Detroit police, Detroit fire, they are containing this scene until the FAA arrives. They will be the lead investigators in this case. Reporting live, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. Priya, you know, we see stories, it seems like, where bad things happen and people don't want to get involved. This sounds like folks in that neighborhood rushed to the disaster to try to help. Is that what happened out there? Yeah, that's absolutely what happened. Detroit police say people had baseball bats were trying to break open those windows. Now, of course, the entire cockpit was engulfed with flames. People were worried that that plane could explode, but they still tried to approach, tried to break open some windows. Again, you saw that video. That young man was able to roll out of that side door. Again, two people died, but really Detroit police are praising the people who live in this neighborhood for thinking quickly and being safe themselves. Nobody was injured on the ground. No other structures were injured. Injured. Again, some very heroic moments here uh, as people try to save those folks in that plane. We're hoping to learn more information about those two other passengers. We'll continue to stay on top of this developing story. Send it back to you. Well, they got involved to try to help. Yeah, Detroit yeah. police, in fact, calling them heroes yeah. tonight. Thank, Thank you, Priya. Thank you, Priya.
Sky 4 now live over the scene, and you can see crews going through the wreckage. We know it's dark, but if you take a look here, you can see, again, that small plane crashed, as we've been telling you, in an abandoned lot. We're also now hearing the call for help that came into police just minutes after the plane crashed. Take a listen. Female caller says small plane crashed near address. The pilot is stuck in the plane. Plane is on fire. And this is what we know right now about that plane. It's a 1978 single engine Cessna 210. According to NTSB records back in 1986 in Ontario, California, the same plane crash landed after running out of fuel and it had a different owner back then. Stay with Local 4 and click on Detroit.com. We will be bringing you any new developments as we get them throughout the night.